You are watching the first episode of a mini web series recounting my journey to Dallas, Texas, the land where dreams and opportunities are commonplace. So sit back and enjoy. This is my experience. This is my story. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Look at that, guys. We are downtown Dallas, my friends. Oh, wow, this is great. Look at this. Look at this place. Like, this is like, this is the life. Like, check out the view. I'm a big fan of skyscrapers and just the city life, you know? I mean, look at their buses. <laughs> so guys, we're gonna go in and uh, check it out. It's my first time coming here, so I don't know what to expect, but right. it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. Um, it's so big, it's like, it's gonna take us for a while to like see everything, but I'm willing to check everything out. Let's do it. going in there is a lot of people here it's like going into a mall yeah and it's a Monday basically we have to get what's called a city pass we're going to four different places the city pass covers all four is one single admission for four places so we're gonna get our first one here and then we're gonna be able to go to all the other three places throughout the week so that's a better option So cool. Oh, we oh, need tickets right here. Go ahead. You get, uh, all right. Carter, are you doing general? Are you doing general? All right. Let's do this. To exhibits and beyond, we have our uh, tickets here and we got the city pass as well. So we're good to go for the four places total we're going to go to. Of course, we're gonna head to the to the to the aquarium first, mm -hmm. or we're gonna go there too. It's not included in this, but anyway, we're going in, guys. <laughs> Discovering Life Hall. That's cool. We got bamboo there, mushrooms, a beaver, a very big plant, looks like a lotus. I don't know. A black bear. That is so cool. Got owls over there. Got a gazelle. I think that's a leopard. Is that a leopard? They look so real, like, oh my gosh. Another gazelle. Oh, I hate insects. The Bean Human Hall. <laughs> they have an entire hall for humanity. Look at this. Human faces reflecting emotion. You get to make your own face. What? Wait, what? It's her face. 
It's mimicking her. What? It mimics her face? Yeah. Oh my god, look at that. Who's next? Delilia. What? It's just your face. Wow. I gotta do it. I have to try it. You want a video? On the camera. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah, the camera can catch it really well. Oh my god, that is amazing. I've never seen anything like that before. That is amazing. <laughs> the bio lab. The human body, look at that. That's us from within. Not a very appealing picture, but <laughs> it might be a lot more honest than some of the other things you've seen. Look how detailed it is. Wow. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, this is a real human brain. Oh my God. Oh, wow. Look at the stem. And look how it just branches out. That is phenomenal. Somebody must have donated their brain for this. This is a real brain. Right? A real brain. Yeah. And they have a certain light shined on it so it can look a certain color, I guess. But that, that's real. Wow. Yeah, somebody donated their brain for this. Somebody's memories and all their life experiences, all of their happiness and sadness all in that one little thing oh wow look at this this is the this is like a mode of an actual like leg and this is what they can do to replicate it if you were you know amputated or something i've actually never seen any of these before that's it that's awesome look look at that I've seen so many videos of people who ran with these and had lives with these. But I never actually saw one in person. This is really cool. What are you doing? <laughs> what is going on here? I'm trying oh, you're trying it out? Yeah. They have a demo for what they're doing here. They have a demo right there. I want to try that out too. So cool. Trying it out. Oh, this is very weird. I'd have to get used to this. Guys, this place is full of amazing things. Like, I have never been to a museum this detailed and amazing like this before. Like, this is fantastic. I, excuse me. I've never been to anything like this before. So guys, just to show you, uh, this I guess is like the uh, like the basement. This is the main lobby we came in here. Um, and then there's a theater. We have a, a movie at 3.15. So we have about an hour. And we're, now we're at Life Being Human Engineering and Innovation. That's where we're at now. And Earth, Energy, Humans and Minerals are next. But this... That's where I want to go. They meet the universe life then and now. I think that's where the dinosaurs are and all the cool stuff is. So we're going to go up one to level three and then level four. So now we're on the uh, third floor where there's earth energy and minerals. 
So this is all about our current planet that we live on, beautiful Earth. And one level up, of course, is the universe with the stars, the galaxy, all that stuff, and then the prehistoric life. That's the different levels of the uh, Earth's crust. Very nice. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. The oil and petroleum side is not really my favorite in terms of science, but it is cool to check out. Electricity. That looks like a Cybertronian, like, <laughs> freaking, like a part of a spacecraft. This is an engine part from a long lost Autobot ship. <laughs> you guys know I gotta put transformers and everything. Ooh, the minerals. Now this wow. is more like it. This is more like it. Look at this. They have orange minerals. Look at that. It looks like a big quartz crystal. These are Texas minerals. Minerals that are native to this state. Gold. This is pure gold. In its natural form before it's melted and reformed. This is expensive. This is an Osirox gold nugget. That is so nice. That's beautiful. This one doesn't have a label, but it's more crystals. It's all naturally formed in the earth. That is amazing. It's fantastic. This is the eyes of Africa. Very nice. Oh my God. Oh my God. If that's real, I am shocked. What do you think mom would do if she had that? Guys, I don't know if the camera is capturing how beautiful this is. But if it is, which I don't think it is, but this is beautiful. And I guess you can uh, you can change the angle. Yeah, see, that's what it's doing. That is, oh my god. That right there, I need to get a selfie with that. <laughs> hey guys, it's me with a mineral. <laughs> that's this rotocrosite. Pretty cool. Fluorite. More fluorite minerals. There's just like endless minerals. Endless. I guess that's how they look when they find them under the ground. Jesus. Just endless, endless minerals. I'm, I really am fascinated by minerals. I love how beautiful they are. Crystals in general. It's just so gorgeous. There's so many here. Like, look at all these minerals. My God. This is beautiful. Beautiful. I'm in awe. I really am. All right. Let's see what else they have. So, guys, we are at the earthquake simulator. And... I don't know if y'all know this, but earthquakes are like my biggest fear. I don't, I'm not I'm not afraid of like alligators or sharks or lions, but an earthquake freaks me out. I guess because it it like it's unpredictable. You never know when it's coming, and like everything around you shakes. The ground it's like you can't really escape it because like you're already on the ground. You can fly, but then you never know when it's coming. So you never know when to fly. It's just it's it's not fun. So this is a simulator. It's gonna kind of show you what it's like to be in an earthquake. 
as you can see, the earthquake familiar. So maybe this might help me overcome <laughs> my fears of, you know, being in an earthquake. So, uh, it kind of shows you how that works. So yeah, let's go do it. Oh my god. Oh my god. You guys ready? Oh my god. <laughs> it's okay to stand up, but you can't walk with this. You cannot walk. Now imagine everybody running around. <laughs> imagine somebody like running in that. They're running around while the ground is doing that. And I could be running trying to do that. Yeah. Because then, I mean, in, in a real life situation, you're going to be in a building. You got to get out of the building. So, like, that is, oh my God. That was cool, though. All right, let's go up. Let's go up. Guys, we're on the uh, second floor and a half, I guess, because we're not all the way up to the second floor. But look at the city of Dallas. Such a phenomenal view. Beautiful. This is the place that I wanted to come. Oh boy. The expanding universe. This is my favorite science. Solar science. Universe science. And even prehistoric. I love ancient history. I love the study of stars. And the cosmic environment. Like I just, this, this is where I wanted to come. Look at that. How we know we don't know yep everything we are capable of observing all the planets and stars only four percent of the entire universe yep that's about right that's about right we have not even we have not even like touched the surface of what our universe contains and what its properties are like we haven't even gotten there we've only touched i don't even think we even scratched the surface yet Look at this. Very nice. Earth's moon. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. What is this? This is a big thing. It says journey through the solar system. Ooh. Right now, this is what I'm talking about. Look at this guy. Oh wow, that's so. Oh, that's so so. Like this is realistic. Look at this thing. The skin looks so real. Everything looks so real.
to the dinosaur exhibit, guys. Another part of history that I love. Prehistoric. Wow, all the fossils. Eating, adapting, and surviving. The carnivores, the herbivores, and the omnivores. So cool. Oh my God. Oh, see now this, this is a museum. Look at this. This is underwater. Holy crap. Look at this. Look at this. This is the Pleistocene. This is the great Pleistocene right here. The age of giants. <laughs> Imagine this thing being like real, like it's walking next to you. I bet it would make the ground shake. This thing is massive. Look at that. I forgot what they were called. Um, ah, I forgot what they were called. It's not a mammoth, is it? I forgot. But that's, that's huge. But this right here is amazing. Guys, I don't think y'all can like see how big this is. Look how long his neck just like... This is life size. Isn't that great? Look at the pterodactyl. Imagine that thing coming down and swooping and grabbing you. <laughs> like that is the biggest bird I think I've ever seen. Wow. What? Oh my God. I'm just... That's just, that's just amazing to me. Look at the tail. Pio. And that's the T-Rex right there. That's the vicious and famous killer. <laughs> this is basically the highlight of the museum. This right here is the highlight of the museum. The Tyrannosaurus Rex. Life size. Tyrannosaurus skeleton. North America's top predator. Look at the deer. It looks so real, you guys. Like, I don't know if the camera's ca capturing how real it looks. But, like, if these were like robotic and they were moving inside of like a glass box, I wouldn't be able to tell whether or not they were real or fake. Predator versus prey. The battle for survival. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am fanboying right now over this. Look at this. What is this? This is the... Oh god. Uh, the hip silo fodon. A hip salafidant. Oh, it is? Okay. The Tenontosaurus. Oh my god, oh god, oh god. This is amazing. Alright, guys, so we just uh, left the exhibits and now we're gonna go to a theater where I guess we're gonna see a little short film. <laughs> uh, and this one is about the Galapagos and it's in 3D. Uh, I probably can't film that, it's probably copyrighted, but to show you, it's basically that in the middle, the Galapagos, an oceanic giant. So, uh, I guess we're gonna go in and enjoy it. <laughs> I'll see you guys when I get out. We just got out of the theater. We're gonna take an escalator ride and then we're gonna go to the North Park Center, which is where the stores are. It's kind of like a mall. And that's gonna be fun. So we're going up the escalator. This is where you can see like a view of the city. Wanna get some good shots of that. 
and then we're gonna head over to the mall center uh, it's the one we have not been to it's not the Galleria it's another one and uh, we're gonna go grab something to eat there and maybe the Apple store or something after that who knows but the mall is definitely after this and I think we're approaching the, the view that we wanted to get oh look at that oh boy guys I'm a fanboy for the city of Dallas. Look how beautiful this is Dallas. That that building looks almost like the, the One World Trade Center. Kind of. And that ball over there, that is the Reunion Tower. We're going to be going over there to overlook the city, but at nighttime. We are at the North Park. Baby... This is the place. This is the spot right here that I've been wanting to come to for cool. quite some time. This is a very high-end, top dollar mall. A lot of great stuff. There's actually an Apple store here. It'll be my first time laying eyes on an Apple store, like a real one. Oh my God, I think I see it. That's it. Yeah. It's right when you walk in. Wait, no, that's Microsoft. I see the Microsoft logo. I can't see. It looks like a... Oh my god. Oh. Oh. I'm freaking out, y'all. Look at this place. Banana Republic's over there. This? Okay, now this is nice. There's a little robot. Look at that. You see them over there? It's like a little robot greeter. So there's a Microsoft store, an Apple store, Banana Republic, one of my favorite stores, is over there. And there's a little Microsoft robot. I've actually never been in a Microsoft store either. This is, this is beautiful. <laughs> Look at the Microsoft store, guys. Oh my God. You can ask questions about our products. General that is freaky. Oh you can also say go back to go to the home The articulation screen. is so human-like. Go back. I've never seen a Microsoft store, especially one this nice. This is incredible. Cool, guys. You can create your own Marvel comic. All right, so we just left the Microsoft store and I came across this, Warby Parker. I'm not sure if you guys know, but it's a, uh, it's like for optical lenses, for like glasses. And I actually, I learned about this through Tyler Oakley because he has like a partnership with Warby Parker at one point and he had like a discount. The glasses are pretty on the high end side, but they're actually high quality. So we're gonna check it out. Barbie Parker is really nice. But it looks good. Mm Very nice. Very cool. So, we just left Wobby Parker and the Microsoft store. So we're gonna go get something to eat because we're actually hungry. It's like, uh, what is it? Almost five o'clock and we haven't eaten anything yet. So, we're gonna find something to eat and then head down to the Apple store. We have an AMC theater and an Urban Outfitters. And a pride decoration back there. AMC is a Yeah. I know that. I think it's an IMAX too. Anyway, guys, 
we are going to the place that I have never been to in my life. But yet, have all the Apple products. I have been there in spirit my whole life. We're going to Apple. And I see the logo way over there, and I'm freaking out. So we're going to the Apple store. I like the This will be my first visit to an Apple store in my life. Oh, I don't think I can go in. I can't go in. Guys, I uh, I don't know if I can go in there. Oh my God, I'm going to lose it. And there's too many people in there. <laughs> oh God, this is, their stores are always so nice. <sighs> okay, we're good, we're good. You know what, I'm going to shake back. We're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay, cause you don't care right now. Yeah, but I'm I, fine. you're fine. I'm just, I'm, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Everything looks so nice and just, they have home pods. They have the MacBook Pros. They have all the iPhones, like the 7s, the 6, oh gosh, IMAX, <gasps> yo, this is the, um, uh, the Mac Pro, that's so cool, I never saw one in person before, you have the Space Gray keyboard, along with the trackpad, the Space Gray is for the iMac Pros, and this is actually what I came for, the beloved cases. Oh my gosh, wow. Look at the cases, guys. This is actually why I came. Came to check out all their nice cases that I will not be able to see in my hometown. Beautiful cases. I'm doing very well. I'm keeping my composure, I'm doing well. And I actually never tried the trackpad out, so... Oh, that's nice. Oh, look how small. Is this an iPod? Yeah. Yeah. iPods. You know, I'm glad that the iPods are not obsolete. They're still selling them, they're not, you know, still on the market. They're so cute. So cool. I really like this color, like this. This is gorgeous. And I really miss the plus size phone. So I found this case here. It's almost like a sandish color. And I wanna get a matching band. I really like this color. That's what I really want, but I don't think they have any more. So I'm doing what I can. <laughs> I got me the silicone case. It was the pink sand. Wait, there it goes. Pink sand. And I got the matching band. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Alright, guys, so we just got out of the Apple store and I bought me like a phone case and a matching band. Loved it. Um, I'm not gonna vlog for the rest of the day. Um, my phone is dying <laughs> and I want to preserve it for our uber drive So yeah, hope you guys enjoy the vlog today tomorrow's gonna be fun and the rest of the week We have a lot planned so hope you all enjoy watching it and we'll see you tomorrow or tonight or in the morning or next week <laughs> We'll see you when we see you. Goodbye We're going to the Museum of Art because we're gonna live our best life with the art and then we're going to the Presidential Museum for George W. Bush, and I'm excited for today. Today's going to be fun.